All right, we're here in Tampa, Florida. Looking here. Let's see, this is the Ben T. Davis Beach. Got tons of storm surge coming in. It's just over at this other location. This condos were getting completely flooded out. Look at all the seagulls out there. I don't know if you can see it. There's a ton of seagulls flying around. Uh, this is just coming in like crazy. I'm gonna have to leave here soon because it's gonna be covering the main road. I think this is Highway 60. It's the Courtney Campbell Causeway. Somebody's probably gonna come yell at me for being here, but um, I'm gonna hold this shot for a little bit. See here, they've closed off the main beach area and that's probably a good call because it's just streaming in. Got winds here, probably gust into about 50 miles per hour. Haven't seen haven't seen much wind damage. A few branches down. It's mostly been a storm surge. Thankfully, I've got a higher profile vehicle than I usually have. I'm in a Ford F-150 as opposed to my little Corolla. And yeah, not going to be a ton of wind with this since it's only a tropical storm, but you know it's still. Tropical storm force winds can still do damage. Wow. Yep, it's really coming in. It's just crazy, it's one after another. It's been constantly busy. Water's coming up to where I'm at. Here's the main road, the causeway. Not much longer of this and it's gonna be coming up through there. Ben T. Davis Beach. Sony. Let you guys just watch that storm surge come in for a little bit before I move because I don't want to get stuck here. Just streaming in, almost up to the causeway here. All right, what's our next plan here? Yeah, that's some good wind. We're getting a little squall here. Thought he was gonna tell me to move. He didn't dare. <laughs> Top just went by. I thought he was gonna kick me out. I'm probably gonna kick myself out here though. It's getting a little gnarly. All right, let's see what else there is. Let's see what else we got. Last look at the park. Had some serious issues. That guy's gonna tell me to leave. I'm trying to spot right on me. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Whoops. Sec, trying to find a new spot. Got a good shot there. And cops started coming by, shining their spotlights. You know, they don't want to have a liability of dealing with somebody who gets trapped in the water, especially they don't know what they're doing. But, you know, I've been doing this long enough to know when it's time to leave. And that was about, that was about my stay right there. Yeah, so we're here, Tampa, Florida. We're heading west towards the actual coast. This is just the bay off to my south that you were just seeing. Got lots of reports of storm surge. You can see the winds are ripping here pretty good. We're out on the water, so there's less friction. So the wind speeds are higher than they are further inland. Oh yeah, it's pushing the car around a little bit. That was... Uh, no, I'm on the west side of Tampa. It's where the storm surge is coming in. The, the center of the storm is a bit to my northwest. But I'm kind of going for the storm surge right now, which is being funneled in because of these southwesterly winds just funneling right into the bay here, right along the coast. So I think it's three to six foot storm surge possible, and we're... Oh, I don't know, we're maybe a, a foot or two in storm surge right now, so it definitely could come up over this causeway if it keeps up like this. Got a light shorting out. Having some issues. Yeah, if you guys want good training, hands-on, literal, just long format videos showing you exactly what type of stuff is done by independent adjusters? Uh, we have a we have a program called Adjuster TV Plus, and you can find the link all over this channel. I think it's adjustertvplus.com, and it's a uh, it's a monthly subscription deal, so you can stay for as long as you want. And we're, we're constantly putting out videos. Or if you just need to go and grab a few quick bits of knowledge, and then you think you're good to go, well, you can do that, and then cancel your subscription. Um, you get a lot of good information. There's a ton of videos on there. We're just scratching the surface of what we're eventually going to have on there. I'm going to do a series on there about the uh, hurricane. So it's not just information. There's going to be some entertainment value as well. So, all right, we're going up here on the causeway up on the actual higher portion of it. So we're going to get some stronger winds. And just watching this YouTube channel, there's a ton of valuable free information on this YouTube channel. The Adjuster TV Plus is more for people who are like, okay, I'm 100% going into this. Let me see how you scope a house. Let me see how you inspect water damage. Let me see how you find hail on a roof, do a test square, all that sort of in-depth stuff. This channel will give you a lot of good information to make sure that this is something that you want to do and it's got a lot of good free you know useful practical information so Matt's done a great job all right that was the high point of the causeway we're getting some good wind on top of that it was pushing me around a little bit but this is only a it's a high end tropical storm but it is still just a tropical storm so we're not seeing anything too crazy as far as winds. All right, we got oh, we got surge coming up over the causeway here. On the other side of the causeway, there's surge coming up onto the road. Maybe we should look at that. I don't know if I can turn around. And just off to the uh, just off to the left side of the screen, there the water is coming up and over the causeway. Can I turn here? Sorry, I'm solo on this chase, guys, so I'm trying to do everything at once. So, I see comments popping in, but trying to pay more attention to the road than the comments. Whoa! Foam being flown everywhere. All right, I'm gonna pull off right here. Oh, we're gonna check this out. 
We're gonna check this out. Oh, there's a lot of water piled up over here. Interesting. All right, well, the problem is the wind's gonna be blowing right in my face if I open the window. You can kinda see, and there's a big wave. It, it splashes up and over the road, and it's only gonna get worse. No, you can't really see it too well. You can't see the water over here piling up on the uh, reverse side. I think I'm just gonna continue onward and we might come back down the other side here in a minute. I'm trying to get out closer to the actual beach because this is just the bay. Yeah, I'll wait for this guy to come on down. So not going to be a ton of work with this storm. Definitely some water loss type stuff along the along the coastline here along the bay. There's going to be some tree limbs down type thing. The Florida Keys got hit pretty good too the other day from this same system. It's been a crazy storm. Hit Nicaragua as a uh, high end category four, almost category five, and then went inland and kind of petered out got taken back into the Caribbean and up through Cuba, then made a west turn, went through the Florida Keys, kept going west into the Gulf of Mexico, stalled out, then shot north and now northeast. And now it's making landfall in western Florida. Pretty crazy storm track. I know that's probably hard to visualize, but you can probably go look it up on Google. It's pretty cool. We are just gonna make our way west here. We're going west on the causeway. I think it's Highway 60. And we're gonna go see what there is to see further west. I don't have my usual streaming setup. I thought I had everything, but I was missing one cable, so I'm having to do it on my phone. Yes, I'm on the causeway heading west. I forget the causeway name already, but um, I'm going to pull off here and check radar and check my maps if I come across anything else that is dramatic I'll be sure to uh, throw the stream up again but I think I'm gonna end it right now for a little bit just so I can uh, so I can take a look and see what's going on we got another kind of intense squall coming through here got some higher winds yeah all right I will probably be back in a little bit I gotta check a few things thank you guys for tuning in Head on over to AdjusterTV.com. Check out Adjuster TV Plus. Lots of cool stuff there. And uh, we're going to try and get the stream rolling again here in a little bit.